Good afternoon paint pouring community. I spent the first five minutes of this video talking away thinking my video was running and it wasn't running. What I wanted to explain to you was that my supplier in Melbourne sent me these paint pour uh, pre-made Montmartre metallic paints to give a go. Just wanted to let you know that I don't get commission from uh, anybody but they do send me some nice things to try um, and I always want to give an honest opinion of what I think so I tried the pre-made pouring paints in a video last week or the week before lots of people like them lots of people didn't like with everything but they're great if you're traveling you want to take some paints with you without all the mess so that's what this video is about. I'm just trialing these metallics and they're pre-made and they're reasonable price. So I have layered my little canvas with just the black. I cut the bottom of a cup and I've just placed the open bit there because I want to do an open cup pour. Um, so yeah, I spent the first five minutes explaining all this before I realised I hadn't turned the Okay, I'm not going the video on. <laughs> so I will just want to make sure there's plenty of paint on there for and because it's already comes in the cups and they've got these little bottles, I'm not gonna pour it into separate cups. I don't think. So what I wanna do is Blob of black, a blob blob. Okay, so this is a bit different than the really bright, colourful ones that I've been doing this week. Um, as you know, if you're following me, I've had commissions that was. Um, plus I did my own really bright ones, which I love doing the bright colours, I must admit. But I also, I love metallics, but I just don't love the way that they act sometimes because they can be a bit temperamental if you're doing them in a big pour. So this little pack of the Montmartre um, pre-made comes in silver... What's that one? Ooh, bronze, rose gold, and um, just gold. Really nice, bright, and vibrant colours, and they're just the right thickness. If not, you can still thin down a bit if you think they were a bit too thick for what you wanted to use. So that's another good thing because they'll stretch even further. Um, Yeah, so I'm giving these a try. And they're lovely colours. Very nice. And this is my open cup pour. I'm giving a go. It's a blob. That's a blob. Keep going. So these are going to look like a million dollar pour, all these lovely rich metallic colours in here. So this will be a little test to see, because these are ideal that you haven't got to load them all up into a separate cup, so more environmentally friendly I suppose because you're just using straight from the bottles. These little bottles you could reuse and mix in up a bit of paint, especially for this kind of thing where you just want to squeeze directly out of the um, container. Oh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that this is gonna turn out. I've got it in my head, but of course how it is in my head might not be anything like how it turns out. So I just want to lift it. Okay. <laughs> That's, um, when I've done this before, it just sort of spread straight away. Obviously they are a little bit thicker, which is a good thing. Well, this might be the Mars pour. 
but uh, I'll tell you what, when you do um, when you do a painting like this on a negative space with those beautiful colours, it's always going to look stunning. I think you can't go wrong because lots of people love like even the big art with all the negative space and then just something striking in it. I see a lot of those paintings in the um, designer shops. So, right before I do any more, I'm going to add a bit of heat. Probably my actual uh, heat, just a heat, uh, gun, a torch, would just trying to get rid of the bubbles in the paint. Okay, I want to add a bit more gold in there in a few drops. So these are good if you want to aim a bit of paint directly at something, pretty good. See, I mean, a lot of um, paintings that I've had that have had simple designs on like this have been like bestsellers um, to other things that look a lot more busier. But what I'm going to try is the little um, swipey tool, or oh, just one of my little covered in black paint, so that's not good. I'm going to. husband's just arrived that would be right just right on when I'm doing oh see I'm not concentrating oh that's a nice effect I'll just brush a bit more of this black around Yes, I'm doing a video, hun. <laughs> Just said that you always arrive at the right, wrong time, should I say. <laughs> okay. Now, this gives some good effects in the swipe. Okay, I don't want to do too much more with that. Calm my gun down a bit. this one but I can I will continue to embellish it a bit um, where's my little tool okay the end of the pen will have to do I'll find it so you can basically use anything I mean look at the gold coming back through very cute so My husband's just showing me um, another spatula that I thought that I was looking for, but it's okay, I'm, I'm all right at the minute. I think this would look really nice with the navy as well in the back. But yeah, that's very... See, I know that like little ones like that, when that's dry, I'll finish off the end with the black, but when that's dry, those sell really easily. It's people just like the simplicity as well. So if you're thinking that, you know, because you could definitely do something like this, and I can assure you there's always somebody wants to buy these pieces like this. So a nice little simple one but effective because they do look striking you like even on a white wall that would look really nice so those are the little 
um, pre-made pouring metallics I've given a go to. So ju just let me know what you think about them and um, I'll give you a close-up. I've got my hands covered in that black paint so it's quite effective. Obviously it's not my normal style but I have done a lot like this by request that wanted just the golds and uh, metallics in black so that I know that that will sell, that little painting will sell. Happy pouring people, thanks for subscribing and thanks very much for watching and I'm going to do a video now, of, I'm going to do a flip cup pour in the same, so thanks very much.